continue our video lecture series on the digestive system anatomy. Today we will discuss about the anatomy of small intestine. Small intestine. The small intestine starts from the pylorus, end point of pylorus, and it extends till the uh, cecum part. Our small intestine have uh, three parts. First is duodenum, second is our duodenum, and third is our ileum. And the average length of our uh, small intestine is 6 to 7 meters in adults. First, we will talk about uh, duodenum. Uh, duodenum have a uh, function of absorption of iron, chemical digestion. When the chyme comes from pylorus, when it mixes with the HCl and it comes in the duodenum, the absorption of iron begins. Also, the chemical digestion uh, occurs and also the neutralization of some uh, chemicals also occur. Now we will discuss the scalotopy of uh, duodenum. Basically scalotopy is the relation of the small intestine to the bones. The scalotopy of small intestine is uh, L1, L2, L3. Lumbar 1, Lumbar 2 and Lumbar 3. Now we will discuss about the syntopy of uh, duodenum. Duodenum uh, syntopy is the relation of organs to the small intestine. Behind the duodenum, we have inferior vena cava, we have abdominal aorta, and our right kidney is just behind the duodenum. And above the uh, duodenum, there is liver, and to the anterior, it has uh, transverse colon. As we can see here, this part the now we will talk about the halotopy halotopy is the relation of small intestine or anything as a whole duodenum as a whole the halotopy is the relation of duodenum to as a whole body it lies in the epigastric part umbilical ring the upper part of duodenum lies in the epigastric and the lower part of uh, duodenum it lies in the umbilical ring. As we can see in uh, diagram of duodenum, we have uh, different parts of duodenum. First we have bulb, it's the superior part. Uh, across the duodenal bulb we have superior part here. And the point where it descends, it is called descending part. And the point where it ascends, it is called the ascending part. Next parts are our uh, jejunum and our ileum. Jejunum is about 2 to 3 meter long and our ileum is 2 to 4 meter long. In the jejunum, absorption is the primary function. While in the jejunum, the absorption of remaining vitamin and nutrients, especially vitamin uh, B12, absorption occur in the ileum and if we talk about the secular topy in this both part it's from uh, lumbar l2 to the right iliac fossa that's why we call uh, ileum uh, because it's uh, end in the iliac fossa if we talk about the holotopy uh, holotopy it lies in the uh, umbilical region our left lateral region our right lateral region, our pubic area, and our right uh, lingual area. Now we will talk about the pinpoints of duodenum. The duodenum superior part starts from the pyloric orifice and the superior duodenal uh, flexure from where the duodenum starts. Secondly, uh, our duodenum bends in the duodenum flexure. That is called our descending duodenum. And uh, this duodenal flexure continues in the horizontal part. In our ascending part of duodenum, it uh, starts from the duodeno jejunal flexure, from where the jejunum starts. The small intestine in this diagram starts from here till here. We were talking about the duodenum. Now we will talk about the jejunum and ileum. As we say, the genome is 2 to 3 meter long and ileum is 2 to 4 meter long. We can differentiate 
by the looks appearance of this jejunum and ilium the jejunum is thick and wider while the ilium is thin and light and the jejunum is dark in color while the ilium is light in color and it is less vasculature while the jejunum is the more vasculature if we talk about the layers of the small intestine we have four layers the uh, tunica mucosa submucosa muscularis and serosa as we can see here this area is our uh, mucosa and this area is our submucosa and this area is our uh, muscularis and this area is our uh, serosa thanks for watching in next video I, uh, we will discuss about the anatomy of liver